Hi there, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Marley and today I'm going to be filming the intro to the reading vlog for the week, which is going to be manga themed. Basically, the idea for this video comes from my friend Allie who loves reading manga and she's always begging me to read more of it. So I said, you know what? I'll dedicate a whole reading vlog to it. Give me a few different mangas to try out and we'll see how it goes. We'll see if I want to continue any of the series that she included and just sort of how I feel about these uh, popular mangas that she has given me. So I'm just gonna briefly show you guys which ones she gave me to read and then we can hop into the vlog which I have already started. So first of all, and this is the book I have already read, it is The God's Lie by Kaori Ozaki and I really am not great with Japanese pronunciation so sorry about that in advance but this is a book that follows uh, a couple children so our main character here he's being raised by a single mother he's very into soccer but he's also like the new kid at school doesn't totally fit in and then we have our other character here and her little brother he ends up kind of bonding with them you know falling in love with her as you can imagine and then there are some dark secrets that you find out about their family and i'll just leave it at that you guys can see what i think later this is the standalone that she gave me the rest are all series the next one is the promised neverland sorry if this glare there's a glare it's not the best lighting and all i know about this one is that it's about a group of kids in this orphanage. They all, you know, are used to this life. They think they have a, a nice little life there, but then they end up finding out what's going on outside of the orphanage. And again, there's sort of like a mystery to it and like a little twist that I'm excited to see what it is. Another one she gave me was Kamisama Kiss. Oh, this is really like, maybe I should be holding, I should be holding them up on the side. Yeah, this is about a girl who becomes homeless when her dad abandons her and then she gets saved and brought to this shrine and it becomes a local deity, which I pronounced that wrong. Apparently my TBR, it was pointed out to me. And then I think she just has like a bunch of, bunch of responsibilities that come with that and then also a romance. I think this is the one that she really, really likes, my friend, but I kind of feel like this going into it was what I expected to be my least favorite but we'll see. Then the last one she gave me was Hell's Paradise. I mentioned this in my TBR already, but it has a plot that's similar to the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas, which I've been reading. So it's basically about this vicious assassin and he ends up getting like captured and sentenced to death. And the only way to win his freedom is he has to travel to this island and recover an elixir. And then he'll get his freedom if he does that task. So this sounds good. I'm definitely interested to see what the island will be. And I like that I have read this sort of tale about an assassin trying to win their freedom before. So I have pretty high hopes about this one and also the promised Neverland. But we'll see what I end up actually thinking about all of them before we get into the vlog. Subscribe, like, and comment. And yeah, let's get into it. So I finished my first manga of the vlog and it was The God's Lie and I didn't do any updates while I was reading it because it is like really really short so I don't know how it's gonna go with the rest of them if I just won't do any like mid book updates or if it's just gonna be this one but yeah it went by really really quick and hate to say it but I think I'm gonna give it a 2.5 star rating maybe even two I just really feel like I was disappointed by this the fact that it doesn't say much in the synopsis and I was led to believe it was this kind of like mystery thing going on the gods lie kind of makes it sound like it could be supernatural as well like having to do with gods and it did not go there um but yeah I haven't filmed the intro for this vlog yet so I don't know what I'm gonna have said about it but it follows these kids so we have the main character guy here and his like dad has died so he has like some hardships i guess his mom is always trying to like write to make money but they're i think kind of poor and then he befriends this girl and her brother who god it is hard to say because i don't want to spoil it because like it is so short that like anything's a spoiler but essentially maybe i'll spoil it a little bit because 
I don't overly recommend it. Okay, so just warning, there will be mild spoilers here. But her and the brother have basically been abandoned by their mother and their father, and they're living alone. So it's just that like thing you've kind of seen where these kids are trying to take care of themselves, or this girl's trying to take care of her younger brother, and then he like befriends them as well, and they also fall in love. There were a lot of things that made me uncomfortable in this book. For one thing, he goes up behind his mom and likes to touch her boobs. <laughs> like needs her breasts and I'm like that is a very strange thing to do like I was very confused by that when that happened at the beginning another thing is that they have like a romance when they're in the sixth grade so I think that makes you like 11 years old and they like kiss and it's just it's like a romance and I just feel like these characters should have been older than that then because it's so short I just feel like things cannot get developed very well as I've already said, the characters are kind of weird and they try and have this big deep message about how the gods lie, like you think people are going to be okay but people die kind of thing, like it has to do with death and abandonment and stuff and I just feel like they were trying to go for this deep thing and it was just kind of hard for that all to get across in such a short book and especially as I said, I was also disappointed because I thought there was just going to be more to it and like a better twist than like what it was. There's a little bit more to it that I'm not gonna say I guess but like it wasn't very interesting. It wasn't, it wasn't anything special so yeah I just feel like it could have been done a lot better so that is why i'm going with that kind of low rating uh hopefully i started out with the worst and hopefully all of the rest of the books will be better i think they probably will be because they're all part of series which i think you can like flesh out the characters and the stories better but this is starting out not very great i also want to say i think maybe i'm just not a huge manga fan also because while i was reading it i was like I don't really care to like look at images while I'm reading. Normally I really am just skimming the text and like flipping through the pages really quick. I just don't think I'm someone that really like appreciates the art and I don't really look at it that much. So don't know how this is going to bode for the rest of the vlog. <laughs> This one is instantly better. I read one chapter. It actually has an interesting twist. So it, this one's promising. So I finished A Promised Neverland. It was a pretty quick read, but it was so much better than The God's Lie. I actually just, just finished it. So I didn't really think about my rating too much yet but honestly, maybe five stars. It is kind of weird to rate like such a short little volume, but I really, really enjoyed this. Thank God the twist was like what I wanted, you know, a little bit supernatural in nature. That's not too spoilery, I hope. Yeah, and then the characters are also all great. The three main characters, sorry, I didn't put my ring light on, but like they all are getting like great development. They're all very likable. It's sort of like, a cat and mouse situation similar to death note which is my favorite anime and a manga that i am currently making my way through and i love it so i like that this has elements similar to death note of like the characters trying to do something i don't think it's a big spoiler to say they are trying to escape the orphanage and then there are people working against them and it's just like them trying to come up with plans and trying to outthink the other one and I just love that dynamic, I think, in manga slash anime. So this is so much better. I definitely will want to continue the series, especially because this was literally just a taste of the story because it's only like a hundred and something pages. I feel like this one could get like really crazy just with the premise that it has. For right now, the story is still pretty grounded in like these kids at the orphanage, but this has a lot of potential to get wild so Allie I will take the rest of these books to read so I'm really glad that one of these worked out I'm going through them very quickly which is nice this is definitely gonna get my book count up for the for the year and maybe I will read the more cutesy looking one next the one that I didn't think I was gonna like as much <laughs> So this
this one is feeling like more of a miss. I thought that fantasy was going to be good, but no, I don't think ones that are really focused on romance are going to be my thing. I think we are seeing that I am more into the mystery mangas such as The Promised Neverlands and then Death Note. This one might be a little rough. Hey vlog, so I did finish Kamisama Kiss last night. As I said, this was a little bit more of a miss for me. I think I would still give it three stars or even 3.5. It wasn't that bad. I just feel like it wasn't for me. As I've said, it is you know, a fantasy, it's this girl who has a terrible life and then she becomes this little godling and she rules over this little shrine. So yeah, there's fantasy elements in it. It was a little bit hard to understand some of it, like some of the terminology and stuff like that. I assume it would get easier as you continue to read more of the series, but that was something that bugged me a little bit. Or maybe if you're just more familiar with Japanese like mythology, you would understand it better than me. And then there is definitely the romance element between these two, and it is enemies to lovers, which I quite like normally, but I don't know. I wasn't super feeling the romance in this first book like i wasn't really swooning you know but i think if you are into the enemies to lovers cutesy little romance like this then you would probably like this manga a thing that can be tricky with this like god and humans thing is that like it can be kind of creepy when the gods are like so much older than the humans when it comes to like an age gap romance which i'm not too picky about like we've seen it in twilight we see it in like throne of glass where the love interest is like thousands of years old so you kind of have to look past that but sometimes you are just kind of like mm, that's kind of weird right yeah i don't know as i said i really just think the manga i'm gonna like the most is more of the like mystery stuff and not really this like romancy cutesy so this would be my second least favorite so far but also my second favorite so far i guess if you think of it like that so just one more manga to go and then we will see if i want to continue with that series or if it will be another dud. So I have read two chapters so far, but I'm like um, over halfway. And I'm liking this one for sure. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be my favorite. I think we've established the Neverland one cannot be beat but yeah it's about this guy and he is this epic assassin and he is captured by these people and they keep trying to kill him and he just won't die he has some sort of power that won't let him die unless he wants to and obviously he doesn't want to so they put him up to this challenge along with a bunch of other criminals to this island to receive this like miracle elixir what do they call it yeah some elixir that they believe is actually what he took to be invincible so i kind of like that it has a bunch of action going on i think that is kind of fun to watch in not watch but like see in this format there is a female character actually a female lead she is going to be like his handler kind of thing on the island each of the criminals has a little like guard that is gonna like keep them in check and like kill them if they misbehave or something so i like her i can tell this is more mature because there has been some nudity and it is that girl that i mentioned uh she has been nude a little bit so don't know how i feel about that it feels like it's one of those things where it's like just trying to like sexualize her but she seems like a pretty cool character yeah so i'm feeling pretty good about it i'm feeling like maybe it'll be a four star but i'll really just have to see how i feel about the second half on if i want to keep going with this story but it, it is definitely intriguing so far so i like the action but some of it is hard to like understand what is happening <laughs> like i can't really tell what's happening in these images that ended on a weird note but I am intrigued, so I'm gonna stick with the four star rating. I would consider continuing this series, but I definitely would not race to do that, uh, but I definitely would consider it. Hello, so here we are at the end of the video. The question is, do I like reading manga? 
And I think we can see that there is a 50% chance that I will enjoy reading a manga. As you guys saw, I did not really enjoy The God's Lie. I gave it two stars and my main problem with it was that it was too short to really get into the deep messages that it wanted to and for me to really feel things. Characters were also, I think, too young and did not like the main character. I think I forgot to mention when talking about this book, there was another thing I remember that I didn't like, which is there was this typical popular pretty girl and she was actually trying to be nice to our main character when she showed up looking very disheveled because you know, she's just this young girl living on her own, not able to take care of herself. And this popular girl was like being nice to her. She was like, can I help you? Like I can help you like look better and stuff. And then he comes and punches this girl in the face. So just another reason that I, there were just some things off with this book. The other one I didn't enjoy that much was Kamisama Kiss, which I have three stars. Still pretty good. I can tell that the rest of the series would be like her learning how to be a god and doing these little tasks every book, I'm assuming. Like she had a little mission that she did in this one. And I assume that kind of thing would continue, which I think could be pretty fun. However, I wasn't super intrigued to keep reading this. Then for the ones I actually was interested in reading more of, we obviously had Hell's Paradise this like sort of darker more mature story about an assassin and there was like violence and action and also still kind of this mystery about what's going on on the island i'm intrigued by this one i'm not super in a rush to continue the series but i definitely am open to it and then obviously we know my favorite was the promised neverland which is the one that has the most mystery i guess and as i said it's the most similar to death note and that there's a lot of scheming going on between the character like the protagonist and the antagonist and clearly that is a trope that i like so i feel pretty good about this video i definitely see why manga is such an attractive thing to read it can be really fun and i'm glad that i have now figured out sort of what types i like to read which would clearly be like the darker more mysterious stuff so thank you guys for watching let me know if you are a big manga reader and if you're not which of these ones would you be most likely to pick up please subscribe as well for more reading vlogs and other bookish videos and i'll see you guys in my next video on tuesday or thursday bye oh and thank you to ali for lending me all of her manga series <laughs>